Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Code of Princess. In the last episode, we got up to 869 gold. Yeah, you thought I didn't notice. Now I just wanted to save the 69s for later on, just so I could seem a bit mature to new viewers. But now, now you're in episode two, you're in it for the long haul. Now you can see that I'm completely obnoxious in every single way. But whatever. In this episode, we are going to be starting the next mission, Zombie Sighting. I wonder if we're going to be seeing any zombies in this episode. I have no idea. A zombie, huh? No. A necromancer, then, in an undead body. The living are forbidden from using unhallowed magics. I must confirm you are truly undead. If you're innocent, then you will survive that wound and our paths may cross again. I am Joe the Lion Gate. You would do well to remember that name. Away! Uh, guess I'm still alive. Hey, where's my arm? Just the right fit. Well, a left fit, technically. Oh, the muscles are tense. I wonder who it used to belong to. This is a shortcut to my village. Hey, look! Those distron chumps are here, too? <sighs> What's the big deal? I'm just passing through, looking for spare parts. You mean body parts? Yeah. I need to replace a few things. I knew it! It's a zombie. Miss, it is illegal. What even is that delivery? He's like, I knew it! And he's like, it is illegal to be a zombie. I'm not a zombie. I'm a necromancer. Did, did that skull just talk? Are you some zombie puppet master? I stole some parts from a ventriloquist once. And again, I'm not a zombie. Is any of this getting through? That's not important. What's important is you're all suspicious. The universe is really throwing us some curveballs today. Let's just go around them. Hey, you! Bullies! Quit ganging up on an innocent girl! Your parents should be ashamed of how they raised you! If you want to fight, come fight us instead! What happened to just going around them? Are you two friends with this... thing? Yeah, that's us. She's our newest friend, and you gotta go through us to get to her. Defeat all the enemies! This is another type of mission you could experience throughout the game, is protecting an ally. Sometimes we have uh, another character on screen, they do a little bit of fighting for you, but they also need to be protected. If they get KO'd, then it's game over for you. So make sure that they don't get swarmed with enemies like they are right now. So let's see if we can fix that right about now. It's a very cool looking character, I'll say that much, so... And it seems that they have a pretty good arsenal of moves to protect themselves, which is nice. I wonder if they'll become a party member that we could use on our own. Mm, I have no idea. Got them taken care of, and we got even more enemies over here. Uh, oh, we got actual zombies, not just the army members this time. But how is it that the zombies uh, come to the conclusion that they should work together with the guys that are coming after us? It just always seems to work out that way. All the enemies that shouldn't be working together just conveniently work together for the sake of making our job more difficult. I don't really understand it, but whatever, we're still gonna kick their booties either way. You know, I thought that enemy wasn't actually there, but okay, defeat the boss! We got a Golden Knight now, the guy with the legendary voice actor, so... I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can get rid of him. Get some actual combos in there. So, this character, I'm trying to avoid talking about them right now just because we can't actually play as them right now. So, oh no, I actually spoiled it, as if you wouldn't know from looking at the cutscenes of this game or the box art or whatever. Uh, this game does have a reversible box art cover for the EX version. You got this cool looking new photo for the Switch version, or you can switch it over to the 3DS cover. Ooh, 
sword warmth. Delicious, delicious sword warmth. You need me to pry her off you? I've never felt anything like this. My body's mostly corpse parts, so healing magic usually hurts me. But this sword's healing me. Are you projecting your voice through that skull? How fun! Yes, fun is the adjective I would use. My tongue fell out a while ago. And you came here for a new one? Nah, I have spares. I just don't like talking to people. So, are you two going somewhere? Maybe. Why? I think I'll tag along with you. Wait a sec. You can't just invite yourself along. We don't need a zombie in our party. <sighs> I'm a necromancer, not a zombie. My real body is actually very beautiful, and I... Oh, crap. My thumb just fell off. You guys see any fingers lying around anywhere? Look, the thing is, we're running from the Distron army right now. Ali, didn't you say we were her friends? Friends don't leave friends behind in a cemetery. Quote of the day right there. I haven't had a friend in a long time. This is exciting. Fine. I'm Ali, and this is Solange, the ex-princess of Deluxia. I heard your family surrendered to the Queen's army. Yep, and now we're kind of on the lam. I'm Lady Zozo. Call me Zozo. Staffy here is good with magic. The skull's Joanne. Hi, Staffy. Hi, Joanne. It's great to meet you all. Let's keep going. Meanwhile, thousands of inches away. Holy sword. I have to report this. Level 3! Level 3! And party member number 3, Zozo has joined the party and she could actually be used in story mode. And we got Shade and Zombie. And we saved. Now this cutscene actually plays out a little bit different because if you go backwards, oh excuse me because they changed it around. I think in the 3DS version you choose your character first and then the mission so getting confused on that. But if you choose Zombie sighting and then go back and see that you can play as Zozo. Uh, you get a bit of a different cutscene, that cutscene of her putting her, uh, hand together. Uh, that was actually only available if you start this mission with Zozo and you see it from her perspective. And it's actually kind of interesting. But now that that's taken care of, up next is the next mission, Perido Village, as Allie calls it. But, of course, any fans of Steven Universe would know that it is Peridot Village, of course. I would not allow my name to be mispronounced by a couple of Claws! Uh, I can't do a Peridot voice. Only true legends of voice acting could do Peridot's voice, but whatever. Here we go into Peridou Village. And this would be a good time to show off Zozo for once, hooray! As if we could have shown her before, which we couldn't have because we just got her. You are as radiant as ever. The sun sets at night, for you have turned it shy with your beauty, my grace. A simple hello would have sufficed. Jupongi. You know I have a rule against falling in love with your superiors. I was merely being polite. But alas, no. My heart already belongs to another. Your love life doesn't matter to me. I hope you've brought me good news. Have you found it yet? I assure you, I am on the very cusp of doing so. You will have it in your hands post-haste. Oh, the spawn. General Japongi, I found it! It was definitely the sword! You have done well for yourself. See that you tell no one else of this. I like how he gets so angry, like he stomps his foot down and does that epic pose, and he's just like, You have done well for yourself. Ninjas, prepare to depart at once! You got it, boss! Jeez. Stop calling me boss. It's not respectable. We are distron men now, not common brigands. Yes, sir, boss. Uh, sir. And I thought it was rough serving under General Alchemia. Huh. I like how they keep getting back in line and get kicked in the face by him over and over again. Hark! It's my dear friend, Liongate. 
That's a shame Her Majesty will only be rewarding one of us. So you found the sword. I cannot fathom where you might have heard such a rumor. <laughs> but, ah, uh, look at the time. My men and I must depart now. For a routine patrol, of course. Jupungi is a bad liar. He knows where the sword is. The man's vain, but he has his uses. So I guess it wasn't destroyed after all. The sword is powerful. I'm not surprised it survived. Are you coming? Nah, that doesn't sound fun. Maybe next time. <laughs> There's only one person who could have taken it from that altar. Ambo! Sambo! Assembling, sir! We're going after the sword. Understood. Tristan Taylor, when did you become a member of the Distron Army? Welcome to Perido Village. We should be safe here. Hey! It's you guys! Who are you? You have to save me! They're gonna kill me! There he is! Head him over! What do you think you're doing? Ganging up like that! Don't you have any honor? Well, stay out of this or you'll be next! Now stand aside! Stab first, ask questions later, huh? Real classy. Maybe we should teach you some manners. You said it, Ali! This behavior is completely unbefitting a knight! Hold up! You look familiar. Where have I seen you before? He's right, you know. You do stand out a bit. But these are the only clothes I've got! The dress! You're that girl from Baker Street! The uh, Jade... Jasmine... Uh... Hey, this is a royal gown! See this inlay? It's hand-stitched! He's kind of a creeper. Can I curse them now? Whoa, whoa, wait a second here. It's not my fault. You're the one dressed like that. For what it's worth, I can appreciate your fashion sense. It's a shame you couldn't find a dress like that for your brunette friend, though. You're pushing your luck, kid. Hey, boys, you want him? He's all yours. What? No, let's not lose focus here. We aren't men. Well, some of my parts probably came from men. All of us have those, Zozo. You ain't that special. I can't stand hearing everyone fight over me. I'll just go over there and you can continue. You always this annoying? Hey, that's not the lady from the street corner. That's the princess. Welcome to the stinking conversation. I told you she looked familiar. I guess our cover's blown. Let's do this. You know, I'd probably just get in the way. Good luck, ladies! Oh, the first of not that many Solange outfit jokes, honestly, so that's the thing. Solange isn't really a character that owns her uh, inappropriate appearance. When uh, shows have fan service -y characters or themes or whatever, just for the sake of having fan service, I really don't like it, but whenever it's with... Uh, a shameless sort of story like the I forget what's called that volleyball game where you can only use your butt or your moves or whatever like that show is just so over-the-top obnoxious and it's like it owns the fan service and sort of the same with like Bayonetta how it's just a character that owns her appearance and everything like that it just fits her and it's suitable for her to have that appearance and uh, to just use that in a bunch of gags and uh, story elements but for a character like Solange, she's so innocent and sweet that it makes no sense why she has that outfit and like she doesn't really um, make mention of it all that much either. She calls it a designer gown and she doesn't think it looks inappropriate at all, which is just weird. So for that reason, I really don't like Solange's outfit and I think it's just like kind of obnoxious. Like, well not kind of obnoxious, it's super obnoxious, just that I don't think it benefits the story or the character in any way, or shape or form. It's just obnoxious for the sake of appeasing to a bunch of uh, thirsty fanboys that are playing this game, but, uh, I actually saw, a an edit of Solange's outfit, um, through, like, a Tumblr post or something like that, it looks like this, it looks really stinking cool, I'm not sure who made it, but, um, I really wish that this was her official outfit, that she looked like an actual human being, 
but whatever. I guess we can't have everything. Uh, but yeah, onto Zozo as a character. I haven't played as Zozo in a while, so I apologize if I'm a bit rusty when trying to remember her. Zozo is all about defense and special attacks. Uh, Solange and Allie don't really have that many special attacks of their own, so they are not that um, great in that department. Zozo has a few physical attacks, but not that many that you're going to want to rely on. Like, she just has that hit attack, and that's about it. Uh, when you move forward, she does this beam attack, so she could hit from a distance very easily. Also, the jumping ability. I don't know if I showed any jumping in the other ones, but characters can jump in this game, and Zozo can actually fly. She's like Peach in Mario 2. So that's very useful if you want to uh, get away from certain enemies, you just fly across the screen, which is cool. You can't fly and change rails at the same time, though, which is sort of unfortunate. But Zozo is very good at defense, so she could take a lot of hits, and then she could also uh, deal out a lot of sting and damage with her magic attacks. This uh, circle of doom right here freezes enemies, which is really cool. And then you can go ahead and use the laser beam of death, which is awesome. And something that I never, I haven't shown off yet, but I've been meaning to, is that uh, your super counter thingy. I forget what it's called, like the super charge uh, burst mode. I think it's called burst mode, actually. Uh, yeah, because we have burst four up there. So I haven't shown that off yet, just to keep forgetting about it. If you press the X button, it, uh, it makes your character blow up and it does uh, super extra damage. In the 3DS version, you could activate and deactivate burst mode whenever you want, so any enemies around you when you do burst mode would freeze, so you'd be able to get a counterattack in super quickly, and you would be able to, oh, this is a great place, like, there's just so many things to talk about and, like, so little time to actually do it. <laughs> I should report this to Sergeant Omble, or whatever his name is. And Zozo got a level up, so that's nice. Allie's, uh, Solange got to level 4. We got more items, which is nice. But yeah, what I was talking about with burst mode is that in the 3DS version, you could activate and deactivate it whenever you want. Whenever you activated it, enemies would freeze, and then you'd be able to do a counterattack, and you'd also do more damage while you're in burst mode, but it would drain away all your magic. So as soon as you ran out of magic, you couldn't do it anymore. In the Switch version, it's a bit different, in which once you activate it, you can't deactivate it at all until your thing gets emptied out, and then you could you have a certain amounts of burst that you could keep on activating and deactivating over and over and over again. Which is sort of interesting. But now that that's taken care of, we are finally here in Perido Village. Let's go ahead and enter Elida's Tavern. Now, this right here is actually my favorite cutscene in the game. It's just a very funny one and it has a lot of characters. So, hope you enjoy the highlight of Kodo Princess for me, which means it's all downhill from here. What a cozy establishment. This is Elida's Tavern. Adventurers come here to find companions. If you need companions so bad, Why'd you try to stop me from joining your party? As I was saying, we could use another member. We don't really have a good balance. I don't think I follow you. Well, we really need a healer for one thing. I don't. That's because you're immortal. Sorry, but I bruise pretty easy. And my face is my livelihood. What the? You. Hey! Is that any way to talk to someone who has a solution to your problems? What are you getting at? My ladies, allow me to repay you from earlier. I will agree to join your party. No thanks. It's nothing personal, but you're a bard. And also, yeah, it is personal. What we really need is a healer. A priest. A paladin. E even a sage would do. A sage? Well, look no further. I'm well on my way to becoming a sage. I mean, I look young, but I'm really a couple thousand years old. How wonderful! Ali, isn't this exciting? We've got our very own sage! He's not a sage. And he's annoying. He's the exact opposite of what we need. I'm Allegro the Elf, and I swear, I'm just a few experience points away from becoming a sage. My name's Solange. Thank you for joining us. I'm Zozo. It's okay if you forget my name. Most people do. Are you two really falling for this? Name's Allie. Welcome aboard. This is such a wondrous day. I should write a song about this. Come backstage if you want to hear The Sage and the Wenches 3.
Welcome back, Allie. <laughs> What's the occasion? Hey, Elida. We're just celebrating. The world's greatest sage joined the group. Ahem. You left out handsomest, my sweet. Hey, I'm trying to have a conversation here. You looking for work? They're offering money to help track down old Deluxian soldiers. And there's a reward for information on the princess. Thanks, I'll keep that in mind. Ah! Ah! Hey, you just broke this nice woman's window. <laughs> just as the report said, the princess. Uh-oh. I am the mighty Sambo. And I am the even mightier Omble. Uh, no, wait. I'm up. All right, but I'm still the mightier one, I think. And, and we're, we're the, the fearsome, fearsome duo, duo, Sergeant Omble and, and Arjun Sambo. Perfect harmony! You two make me want to rip my ears off. It's funny because she can do that. Are you guys a comedy routine? I assure you, the only ones who'll be laughing is us after you fork over the deluxe caliber. And not a moment sooner. I can't do that. Then the mighty bordering on mighty ensemble shall have to take it from you. Yes, it's truly my time to shine. For I, Sambo the mightier, shall... Uh... No, no, no. I think you got it backwards. This is my moment to shine. Correct. Allow me to show them how strong you are. <laughs> I think I love that line the way he delivers it. He's just like, allow me to show them how strong you are. What? I mean, yes. Allow them to be shown. I must. With vigor. With vigor. <laughs> it just sounds so stinking dumb. Oh my god, it's just so stinking hilarious. I love it so much. Omble and Sambler are some of my favorite singing characters, and then Allegro is another one. I thought he was super obnoxious at first, but we'll see later on that Allegro is one of the best. What isn't the best is being surrounded by a bunch of stinking enemies, so let's go ahead and get rid of these guys. Uh, you just gotta remember to know the difference between pressing A and B attacks and A and B while moving left and right. You just gotta remember the differences between those two and defeat the boss already. So we got Sambal over here that we gotta fight. Omble's not part of this fight, it's just Sambal who's going to allow Omble to show him how strong he is. So see, we already got him locked on so we could just use that laser attack. Thankfully it gets directed right at him even though we're, we weren't facing him, which is very, very nice. And we just keep on doing that, and we are good to go! Amble! I mean, Samble! Arjun Samble has fallen. Looks like we disassembled their ensemble. Please, don't talk like them. Come on, Allegro, you should have said this ensemble, their ensemble. It's all about pronunciation. But whatever, we got ourselves a bunch of level ups, and Allegro joined the party! And we unlocked Samble because he's not gonna appear again. Because, yeah, we literally just killed him, and we ended it with a joke. We could also play as Elida. Yeah, that one lady in the bar, we could play as her for whatever reason. But yes, we got ourselves two new party members now, and those are actually the only four party members that you can play as in story mode in the 3DS version. Though in the Switch version, they switched it up a little bit, and eh, see what I did there? But yeah, we got ourselves the four main heroes, and things are looking brighter than ever. Next time on Code of Princess, we are escaping to the East Gate. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.